Right, well, we knew it was dropping today, and it arrived with a bang. The Venom trailer is here, officially. It's a teaser trailer, so not that long, and not that much information revealed, which is a surprise, because Sony generally always reveals too much in their trailers. But anyway, that being said, here is my trailer breakdown and things I noticed, plus some speculation with regards to the story. Keep in mind, we don't know all that much about this project yet, aside from the fact it is being based somewhat on the Lethal Protector storyline. So we open on what we think to be a serene lake view. However, it pans out to be a man in a CT scan machine, which we see later in the trailer to be Eddie Brock, Tom Hardy's character in this movie. The MRI, or CAT scan machine, is something important to note, and keep it in mind, they are extremely noisy. The next shot we have are doctors or scientists, obviously overlooking Eddie Brock's vitals and checking him over. Nothing too untoward here at all as yet. It's likely that this is either after an accident, which we may or may not see later in the trailer, or it's the Life Foundation. He may have been caught, experimented on, or tested with something. We get the Great Golden Gate Bridge, which we know from reports, because of the Lethal Protector storyline, this is predominantly where the movie will be set, San Francisco. It's important to note that it's this shot here that we hear Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock for the first time. The audio is laid over with him saying everyone has got their thing. Maybe it's a breakup, a death, an accident, whatever it is. You used to be one thing and now you're something else. A very telling and atmosphere setting monologue from our anti-hero. And I will say this, absolutely love the music that comes in during it as well. So during this monologue, we get some shots of Eddie Brock on the streets, but the main important shot here is Michelle Williams. This is supposedly our love interest to Eddie Brock, either wife or ex-wife, and there are even rumours that she will have a symbiote as well. So potentially, she works for, or was experimented on by the Life Foundation. Then there is this shot. It's super quick, but it looks to be inside some facility. What this is, again, not overly clear, but it's highly likely to be the Life Foundation or some government unit of some type. And what we can see is what looks like medical equipment and what would likely be patients as well. So, are these test subjects? The next shot during the monologue, which is important, is this one, when Tom Hardy says accident. We can see massive amounts of activity, fire brigade, and even people in hazmat suits. My thinking here is that this is the accident that sets everything off. We know that there is a scene supposedly set in Japan of the past. This clearly isn't that. However, what it could be is either what happened in Japan was an alien crash of some sort and the life form never got out until recently, which is this, or this is a crash of maybe a plane that was transporting the symbiote, which then leads to Eddie Brock being infected by the accident, which is why he's in the MRI scanner. He sustained injuries during the crash. Either way, my thinking is that it is this that will be what spurs everything into motion. Then we get our reveal. The symbiote in all its glory, or at least part of the life form in some way, contained in a tube, which we can see another one of, so maybe they have several, which would obviously make sense considering the storyline this is based off has several symbiote villains involved. And then we see a chase sequence through the streets, Eddie Brock likely on the run from someone wanting an asset back, i.e. the Venom symbiote, and then we go back to our opening shot, the CT scanner, MRI scanner, doctors clambering up as something is happening. We know Eddie Brock is in that MRI scanner, as the closing shot of this trailer is of him freaking out, and, blink, you may have missed it, but there are black marks creeping up his neck. Again, the symbiotes do not like acute noise, and an MRI scanner is extremely loud and extremely noisy. So what's likely happened? What caused the doctors to get up? The Venom symbiote lashed out at the machine and trashed the place. And that's pretty much it. That's all I could get from the trailer. It's super short, not that long, but I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. And if I missed anything, then please do let me know down below. Did I point anything out that maybe you had missed? And I would be keen to know what you think about my speculation with regards to the story. Personally, just to quickly review the overall trailer, I actually really, really liked it. It set a lot of my trepidation at ease, and I know from Twitter that a lot of people are really now quite hyped for this movie, which I equally am as well. When I heard that this movie was being made, I wasn't overly fussed, but this is now starting to build my anticipation. 
Anyway, and as always though, please do let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And if you did enjoy this video, then hey, consider subscribing to the channel for more in the future and checking out my other content. I've been Mr. H, and until next time, I will catch you in the comment section.